Are they a legitimate contender in 2020? The only reason we're asking this question is because of the game that they had against the Kansas City Chiefs. Looked great, beat them 40-32 to in that surprise victory on the road in Arrowhead. They're 3-2. Are they contenders in the AFC West? Probably. But you got to look at the teams that they beat. The Chiefs, the Saints, and the Bills, they were one touchdown away from tying it in that game. Those are three legitimate teams that they faced and that they've contended with and that they've put up a fight up against. Derek Carr has been looking good. He's always been looking good for the past two years, but for some reason, it just wasn't translating. It wasn't clicking. And finally, this season, that good play is translating. And I talk about how good he was the last two years because... Uh, the season before, in 2018, he completed, I believe it was close to 69%. Ha, 69. Nice. 69% of his passes were completed. Then in 2019, over 70% of his passes were completed, which was a franchise record for the Raiders at that point. Then in 2020, currently, right now, 74% of his passes are completed. He's getting better and better and more accurate as he gets older. 115.9 quarterback rating. He is looking fantastic. And he is doing his part. And now finally he has an offense around him. Where he can excel. And the good play that he's been having. It was getting lost in translation. Because of the defense. Which still has some their moments here and there. They're still not as good as they should be. But also their offense and other pieces around him, he didn't have that for the last couple of years. When your number one wide receiver was supposed to be Antonio Brown, but it ends up being Tyrell Williams and you have to rely on Darren Waller to lead the way, that's not going to cut it. As of right now, it seems like that the Raiders have got a stronghold on their team. They know how to operate. They know how to win games. And I am excited to see where the Raiders are, are going to go in the 2020 NFL season. We talk about how this team has improved. Let's talk about the receivers. Hunter Renfro has taken a step up, and now he looks legitimate. He had a good couple games towards the end of the 2019 season. That is translating, and that is carrying on over to 2020. Stepped in very well while Henry Ruggs, their number one overall pick, was injured. And we want to talk about Henry Ruggs. Oh my gosh, this guy is a game changer. When we talk about that Raiders offense and while he was hurt for the last few games, I, I don't remember exactly what he tweeted, but he tweeted something where it was like, be patient or just wait until I'm in here or, or replying to someone saying that the Raiders offense was not that good or something like that. But he pretty much just portrayed that, just wait. Just wait until I get into the lineup and I'm going to prove that this Raiders offense can go. And boy, oh boy, did he prove it. There were a lot of catches in that game that he had. That one deep touchdown that he had was a game changer. But not only that, there was one catch that he made where he kind of contested it with the with a defensive back and he landed it and he ended up catching the ball and it was just great to see and Henry Ruggs is a special talent. I think he's going to be great. I don't think he's going to be consistent and he's going to have that kind of game every single week because most deep threat receivers don't have a lot of consistency on their side, but Henry Ruggs is a game changer for that Raiders offense. Darren Waller, as always, is still that security blanket for Derek Carr. Maybe the reason why his completion percentage, percentage is so high is because Darren Waller is such a good tight end that you can throw to him underneath and he makes the most out of it with his yards after the catch. But you can throw him the ball underneath and his catch percentage is fantastic. So Darren Waller is carrying on over the success that he had in 2019. And then finally, they finally have a run game with Josh Jacobs. I put him in the same category with Dalvin Cook, with Saquon Barkley, with Ezekiel Elliott. Someone that is a true three-down back, one of the few three-down backs in the NFL today. Josh Jacobs could be the next of those guys. And he's really proven it, and he's really taken on the load himself going into his sophomore season. And he is a game changer for that Raiders offense as well. So we talked about how good that offense is. That defense still needs a lot of work to be done. Okay, that secondary, that secondary is still not as good as they want. And I know that's a lot of uh, injuries that they suffered on their side with Jonathan Abram. And then uh, they had some defensive backs get injured as well. But that Raiders offense for sure is good enough to contend with Patrick Mahomes and that Chiefs offense. And they're looking good. And I'm excited to see where the Raiders are, are what the Raiders are going to do in 2020. 
We talk about how they're contenders in the AFC West. I don't believe that they're going to win the AFC West. I still believe that's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. But if you want to talk about the seventh seed in the playoffs with that new seed that the NFL made, that could open the door for the, the Las Vegas Raiders. Other wildcard teams that they could be they could be contending with for that seventh seed. Uh, we talked about the uh, the Raiders and their division. Well, the Steelers and the Ravens are fighting for their division lead as well. Uh, one of those teams is going to get a wild card spot. So that's pretty much guaranteed because they're both very good teams. Both of them are more than likely going to make the NFL playoffs. So one of them is going to get one of those spots. Well, that just leaves two more wild card spots. You've got the Patriots that you're fighting with who've been looking good. You've got the Colts who've been also looking good. Once you get better quarterback play out of Phillip Rivers, you're going to be looking even better out of that. And then the Cleveland Browns, the other team that they're fighting with. 